In today's world of market volatility and uncertainty, your retirement plans need to be front and center. With ever-changing tax laws, healthcare worries, and an unpredictable stock market, don't overlook the vulnerability in your retirement planning. Protecting your family and estate will be difficult with shifting policies in Washington. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on retirement. Hi, and welcome into Eye on Retirement, the weekly show that keeps you in the know about all things retirement. I'm your host, Rick Everett, along with the full contingent of panelists to include Danny Goolsby of Market Advisory Group, a financial advisor with Market Advisory Group, Joshua Sikora, our lead CPA with Market Tax Services, Corey Hebert, an advisor with Market Medicare Advisors, and Gerald Eidelman, an estate planning attorney with Eidelman Law Firm. Panel, thank you all for being here. Danny, I, I want to take a minute and, and let the audience have a chance to get to know you. When was it that you got your start in the world of investing? And share with us some of the changes that you've seen throughout the course of the decades. So uh, June of 1985 is when I started in this industry. And, um, you know, it, it, that was a completely different industry back then, if you will. Sounds like a, a long time ago. It probably was. But uh, there was a lot of different changes that we would we would uh, uh, effect between now and then. For example, life was slower then or seemed slower at that point. Uh, if you wanted to do research on any particular financial topic, you would have to usually go to the library or you'd have to go buy a magazine or uh, occasionally find someone who could be able to help you with some sort of financial topic. Well, today we have the internet and so it's just a quick search away from on the, using the internet and you can find out just about anything on any topic. Um, and that can be both be reliable and it can also be kind of Pandora's box. So it doesn't necessarily, the information you find is, is, is reliable. But, uh, you, know, um, um, you know, when I first started in the industry, uh, the whole planning was, was different in that uh, people would be able to work for an employer that would receive a pension. Um, and they would, between their pension that they would get from their employer from working for so many years and Social Security, that was enough to sustain them into retirement. Uh, in fact, I know several people back in those days, if you were, that were getting that pension, getting that Social Security, and they were saving money through all of that period. But today, uh, working for a company that has a pension plan now is almost to be a, 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 rare, a rarity. Uh, companies today are trying to get away from pensions or have mostly gotten away from pensions because they've shifted that responsibility to the client or to the, to the employee. They are wanting to say, hey, it's up to you to, to save for your future. If you want us to, to put in something into an IRA or to a 401k through our plan, potentially if you work for an employer that did that, then you could do that. But uh, if you don't, then that's on you. So tell me, Danny, how have you seen some of the investment products change? I know that annuities are a vehicle that would have, a, it appears to have transformed into a much more user-friendly type vehicle. So uh, again, uh, um, annuities are just one instrument that we use, but let's go back to, uh, again, uh, the culture that we came from, uh, annuities were used for just a very broad subject and were not attractive. They were pretty much cut and dried. You do this, if you deposit this much money with, with the company, then you get this much of a benefit. And that was the end of the story. And at your death, uh, the company would quit paying you whatever that benefit. That was back in the, the day. There used to be a commercial, a radio and TV commercial, where that would say that, you know, if this is your father's car, this generation of automobile, if this is your car, if this is how you're doing, you're driving, then you're driving an antiquated vehicle. Well, today, if we're using antiquated products and antiquated instruments, antiquated strategies that were available in the 1990s and the 19 in the 2000s, life has really moved much forward. Now you find these instruments, whether it be annuities, whether it be other instruments that we use all the time, where they have a much broader base. They, they have more than one use other than some of them will cover you for maybe a, a long-term care issue. Some of them will cover you for, if you don't use them, then, then every dollar you put into them goes back to, to your beneficiaries. So there, there's a whole lot more broader base use today than was when I first came in. This is not your father's Oldsmobile. This is not our father's Oldsmobile. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Danny, how and when was it in the growth of Market Advisory Group that the concept of the holistic approach to retirement planning came to be? Well, that was kind of a, a natural progression. Um, uh, we, we started, I say we, uh, um, I started where uh, I would run into a client that would need some help from an attorney or from a CPA. 
And I would have to go seek that, that other professional out. I would have to say, you know, uh, well, I, we can go to this place or that place. Or maybe the person I was talking to had their own, own uh, people that they were already using. So we would go pull those people into it. But it was always seemed to be disjointed because you'd, you'd have the conversation that was very pertinent to that client. And then you'd have to stop and you'd have to go bring in that other professional. And that other professional, whether, again, CPA or attorney, uh, that they'd have to be brought up to speed on the conversation, and then it, then they could comment on what was benef best, best beneficial for the client. Um, we did that back then in those days, and we had the natural progression where we started dealing with with jo uh, Joshua Sikora, our lead CPA, and Gerald Adelman, our lead attorney, and we be we did this under a one full roof and became very attractive to clients because. You didn't have to go four different places to get uh, a harmony of information based on what's best for the client. And so, it, like I said, it was just a natural progression that I don't have to go to different places in, in, in our city uh, or our locale. The client didn't have to go back. They can. They can go pull their, their own professionals into the conversation if they want to, but they don't necessarily have to. It, it's all right here. A harmony of advice, and to have that harmony of advice, you have to have everybody on the same sheet of music, per se. Danny, you meet with clients regularly that come to Market Advisory Group because of that team approach. And recently, you had clients that right off the bat needed the involvement of Market Tax Services tax team and Market Medicare advisors. Tell us a little bit about that scenario. Yeah, I have a couple uh, named David and Susan. Uh, I'll use those names. Um, and when I first met them, the thing that they were most intrigued about that brought them to us, it was he was still working for his employer and he was transitioning from being a full-time employee to retiring. And so he had his, uh, his group insurance through his employer and he was trying to figure out how to transition that, that from group insurance to Medicare and he was applying for Medicare and the Part D of Medicare, which I'll let Corey talk about here in a second, but the Part B, D, D is in dog, D is, um, he tried to apply for that and he was denied. And so he couldn't figure out why he was being denied if he had credible coverage already through his group employer. So um, uh, again, I'll, that's a more of a Corey convers conversation though. Corey, go ahead and, and share with us a little bit about uh, this situation and, and Part D in particular. Yeah, so in this client's situation, uh, it was just the, the timeline was messed up. Uh, as long as you are entitled to your Medicare benefits of Part A and Part B, uh, you are also entitled to a Part D prescription drug plan. But that being said, uh, there are certain windows whenever you can make changes to your Medicare. Uh, and in this case, uh, he was using his initial enrollment period, or his IEP. Now, the only mistake that he made was the same day that he applied for Medicare, he applied for his prescription drug coverage. If Medicare Part B has not been processed yet, they cannot administer a Part D prescription drug plan. So that was just a matter of waiting until we get confirmation that he does have his Part B from Medicare started. So uh, did the tax team get involved in this initial consultation as well? Yes, so there was another conversation he had about the cost of, of Medicare and, and the Part B of Medicare, what that was gonna cost him based on his income from his employer. And so um, we, we brought into the conversation uh, Irma and, and what Irma was going to, how that affect, his income was going to affect his cost of Medicare premiums. And I said, you know what, we need to run down the hall and pull Joshua into this conversation so Joshua can talk about Medicare and, and Irma, Irma in that respect as far as the cost of, of, of Medicare from his income and where his income was going to come from going forward in retirement. Uh, the impo imposition of Aunt Irma. Yeah, yeah. So uh, oftentimes when we t meet with people, they're surprised about Irma. They don't understand where it's coming from. They don't understand why they have to deal with it. And a lot of times the first time they find out about it is when they get that letter in the mail from Social Security explaining that they have to deal with it now. Um, especially in, in this situation, they were, they were being confronted by Irma because he was still working, so their income was high. In situations when your income exceeds certain thresholds, the Social Security will tack on additional Medicare premiums with the assumption of, oh, you're, you're earning a lot of money, you can afford to pay more for your, for your plans. And the, the sneaky part, the part that often catches people by surprise, is that there's a two-year time lag between when they earn the income and when Irma rears its ugly head. And so because of that big disjoiner between the cause and the effect, 
that leaves room for that surprise to come in. You know, this is an example of one client coming in to visit with a financial advisor, and in just one visit, uh, already we've implemented the Medicare advisor side, and we've implemented uh, the market tax services side. So it, it brings to mind an important question to the audience, and, and that is, do you have a whole team looking out for your best interest in retirement? And if not, what part of the puzzle could you be missing that could end up costing you money down the road? At Market Advisory Group, we practice a holistic approach to retirement planning, from the financial aspects to tax planning, Medicare advising, and estate planning. And we do it all under one roof for your convenience. Operators are standing by right now to take your call for a complimentary, no-obligation consultation. The number to call, 316-252-8707. Again, that number, 316-252-8707. And be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. We'll be back with more of Ion Retirement right after this. When people work with Market Advisory Group, they get a feel of sense of family. There's a lot of relationships that are made and going on in this conference room, and we really take a lot of pride in that and a lot of satisfaction in that. Every client we work with, we make a custom-made plan to fit them and help reach their goals in life. Another thing that makes us unique is we want to meet regularly with our client and have reviews. Market Advisory Group, we, we have a process, and the process we take people through is first to understand what they have, understand who they are, and then we put together an income plan for them and show them how they, again, they can look forward to retirement and not look, though retirement is going to be a stressful time. It needs to be a stress-free time. A few unique features of working with Market Advisory Group is uh, holistic in-house financial consultants. Uh, we've got an in-house CPA, Joshua, an in-house estate planning attorney, Gerald, uh, an in-house Medicare advisor, Bill. Uh, we rely on all of those uh, professionals for, again, additional service within our co consultative process, making sure that we've got the advice and the expertise behind the recommendations that we make. You know, as an advisor, I'm not there to sell them one way or the other. I'm there to educate them, to let them know what their choices are. Then I try to help them make the right choice where they can save money and feel confident in their decision. Absolutely the best part of my job is getting a stack of paperwork from somebody and they don't know what to do and then I can turn around and give them back a tax return but also to be able to explain what they can do next year that will give them a better answer than what they had this year. When we've got clients that are calling and they need to help out a child or need to help out a grandchild or need to help themselves out and they're, they're in a situation they didn't expect to be in. I really relish the opportunity to help them through that, help them make the educated decisions in somewhat stressful situations, because a lot of folks don't have that type of counsel. We meet with so many people one-on-one -on -one in this office that don't ever end up becoming a customer or doing business with us, and that's okay. But when they leave our office, we know that we've helped them either get some answers to some of the questions they had or get some clarity on maybe their own path. But one of the things that we hear all the time is, I wish I would have met you guys 10 years ago, because how much further could I be down the road? Well, Johnny Appleseed said, you know, when's the best time to plant a tree? Ten years ago. When's the second best time? Today. And so if we can help people today going forward, that just brings an incredible amount of comfort and excitement for us to come to work every day. Hi, and welcome back into Eye on Retirement. In the last segment, we began visiting a little bit about IRMA, the income-related monthly adjustment. And I'm going to toss it back to Corey now with Market Medicare Advisors. Corey, how aware do you find people are of IRMA and all the different intricacies that go into a, a proper Medicare slash retirement plan? Uh, that's an excellent question, Rick, and um, I think me and Danny got a really excellent story about this uh, because we recently had a, a woman come into our office, and she had been working with a financial advisor, and that financial advisor was doubling as her Medicare advisor. Uh, now, anybody that's tried reading up on Medicare knows that that one topic alone is, is enough to fill up one brain. Well, her advisor had been telling her to withdraw more than she needed from her retirement accounts. 
And in doing so, uh, he was also triggering her Medicare Part B IRMA. She had been paying IRMA charges for over five years because her Medicare slash financial advisor was telling her that she needed to draw the money. She just thought that Medicare Part B premiums were increasing. She didn't even know it was an IRMA charge that was affecting her. So that is, that's part of the reason why it is very important. Even if you do have a financial advisor who's assisting you with Medicare, there are so many minute details. And uh, quite frankly, she just walked away from a couple thousand dollars because of some mistakes that were made. So it's important to, to meet with somebody that knows what they know when it comes to visiting about Irma and, and how, it, how it weaves its way into the planning. Exactly, and, and even when people come into my office, I get questions about when should I start Social Security? What are these tax implications going to be? And I'm well aware that that is not my area of expertise, and that's when I have the ability to walk down the hall and talk to Joshua or talk to Danny, and vice versa. When Danny gets questions about Medicare, uh, Danny knows some of the basics, but I'm the, I'm the expert on that. Danny, you said you recently had some clients also that were doing some planning for Roth conversions. And for Medicare premiums currently, they were already a, a, in a Tier 2 with yes. about $1,600 in premiums. Can you pick up the story there? Well, so Joshua uh, will like to say that he likes to do tax planning opportunities with people. And so we'll do those a lot of times together. And with this particular client, he, uh, so we're talking about IRMA now, but we're also, another component of that is now when required minimum distributions start. And then, so that uh, is another layer of what, it, what's that going to cost you in Medicare premiums because you're forced to take this distribution from your qualified plans, whether it be a 401k, IRA, that type of thing. So it's always important to be able to know in advance what these things, what these decisions are going to make and how can I, how can I best uh, minimize my taxes and we do that with Joshua, and, and, and I'll, I'll speak, let Joshua speak for himself there. I just have to say, Joshua, this all might be a little intimidating for someone to navigate alone or just with a financial advisor, not having a CPA or someone knowing the tax implications. Yeah, whenever Danny brings me in on this conversation, we I always talk about my role in that situation is to help them understand the decision they're about to make, and then walk all the way around it to make sure they're understanding all the different implications, whether it's something long ranging like the Irma piece that they may not see for a while, whether it's how, and this is where Danny and I really work together, is how that's gonna affect their investments, you know, in the near term, how that's going to affect their, uh, affect their next tax return, and making sure they understand how all these different things play off each other so that this way there's no surprises as time passes. There are a lot of pieces that come together when it's time to put together the puzzle that we call retirement. And if you don't have all of the pieces to make that puzzle fit together effectively, what piece might you be missing that could create an incomplete retirement picture? If you want to avoid asking yourself that question, employ a team that employs a holistic approach to retirement, such as Market Advisory Group. From the financial aspects to estate planning, tax planning, and Medicare advising, we do it all at Market Advisory Group, and we do it all under one roof for your convenience. If you'd like to set up a complimentary no-obligation consultation, operators are standing by right now at 316-252-8707, and be sure and check out our website at ionretirement.com. We'll be back with the final segment of this show right after this. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you want to go, and who do you hope to go there with? 
Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no-obligation, full-blown financial review today. Hi, and welcome back into the final segment of Eye on Retirement. Sadly, in retirement planning, one of the things a lot of people don't take into consideration is what happens if one spouse dies. Danny, I'm sure you've seen this scenario play out more than once yes. around the conference table. Well, I, I certainly have. And, you know, uh, when it comes to long-term care, when it comes to uh, passing the estate to either the next generation or to a beneficiary, I'll say it that way, most of the people will say, I never found myself to be in, in an awkward position like I, I find myself now, whether I'm in a facility or whether I'm finding myself going through probate because of, of not proper planning. And that's where I like to, to say, hey, we need to bring Gerald in to have this conversation. Gerald Eidelman with Eidelman Law Firm. Take it away, sir. Well, I mean, uh, people are not prepared many times to realize what happens uh, when you do wind up in a situation where you have long-term care needs. Uh, so while two spouses are living, if uh, one of the spouses needs to be in long-term care, the other one can remain in the house and the house will be protected. Now, that's not protected forever. Once that... Uh, both spouses die if the, the spouse in the long-term care facility use Medicaid. Medicaid can come back and try to get its money back as much as they can from the house. So in that way, you can disinherit your children without realizing it. If you're single and you wind up needing to go to long-term care, then you have a bigger problem because the whole house then is up for grabs, essentially. What happens is that in order to qualify to have any benefit from Medicaid is you have to get down to $2,000 in assets. So if you figure you have a house, you have some savings accounts, all of that money has to be spent before Medicaid will put a cent in it. So my job is hopefully to plan ahead of time so that we can avoid that, qualify the client for Medicaid early in time and save the assets for the children or their beneficiaries. Uh, you know, we do these called Medicaid Asset Protection Trust, and they're specially set up to prevent Medicaid from considering to be an asset available to pay for your long-term care, which means that if you do wind up being in, long, in a long-term care situation and you need to apply for Medicaid, all of the money that's inside that trust will not be considered by Medicaid and you would be able to qualify much quicker. You still have to spend yourself down to $2,000, but you save all this pot of money here in this special trust. Uh, Gerald, I recently had a client who was the durable power of attorney for her mother who had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. The mother did not have a trust in place, like you're speaking of, to protect assets, and the daughter asked if there was a way to protect land that the daughter was due to inherit upon her mother's passing. If a trust wasn't already in place, one would have to guess that the land may be used for payment of medical services, no? Yes, I mean, it, that a lot of it will depend on how advanced uh, the, the Alzheimer's is, uh, because one of the things we have to do in order to create these trusts that protect the assets is we have to put them in the trust five years before you need Medicaid. And so many times patients with Alzheimer's uh, may progress slowly and they may be able to stay at home with relatives. So if you can set up that trust and that you can outrun the five-year look back period, then you could protect that land. If you don't have it, on the other hand, then that land does become an available resource for you to pay your medical care and you will be disqualified up to that amount of the value of the land. Joshua Sikora with Market Tax Services. Are there special tax considerations that come to mind as they pertain to setting up a trust to protect assets from medical expenses. Yeah, so a, a trust is, is set up to 
do a designated purpose, right? Whether it's Medicare or Medicaid protection, whether it's inheritance, you know, structuring that inheritance. And you can't expect a trust to do that does one thing to do the other thing very well. So you have to be very clear on why you're establishing this trust, what kind of benefits you're looking to get to make sure that the trust you are getting is going to do the things you want it to do. It's no good to have a Medicaid protection trust, for example, if you're looking for tax efficient moves between different generations of, of owners of assets. So it's important to make sure you just tailor that to what you're looking for. And do you find that there, there are ways when you know that a trust is in place for the protection of property or assets because of uh, potential medical expenses, is there any way of tax sheltering that comes into mind? or uh, When people are, are interested in that, it's important to make sure that those uh, requirements are established in the original trust document. Once we're down the road in the, tr in the operation of the trust, where the ship's pretty much sailed on that. So it's important to make sure that that's all established in advance. And once it's rolling, it's rolling. Uh, I know Gerald says he likes to have uh, trusts or wills reviewed every three to five years. Are these things that come up ever in the annual tax planning you do toward the end of the year with clients? When they have them involved, when they ha when people have these kind of trusts, yeah, we'll bring Gerald in, we'll talk about it, and uh, see if there's some things that need to be changed. Do you have an entire team looking out for your best interest in retirement and beyond? And if not, why not? At Market Advisory Group, we have the whole team, and they're ready to go to work for you, ensuring their best efforts for the best retirement possible, from the financial aspects to estate planning, tax planning, and Medicare advising. We do it all under one roof for your convenience, and operators are standing by to take your call right now at 316-252-8707. That's all the time we've got. I'm Rick Everett, along with the entire team, reminding you we're here to keep an eye on retirement. Investment advisory services are offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The content provided is intended for informational and educational purposes only. The views, statements, and opinions expressed herein are those of the individual speakers and not necessarily those of Foundations and its affiliates. The information contained herein does not constitute an offer to sell any securities or represent an express or implied opinion or endorsement of any specific investment opportunity, offering, or issuer. Any discussion of performance or returns are not indicative of future results. Each individual investor situation is different, and any ideas provided may not be appropriate for your particular circumstances. Foundations only only transacts business in the states where it is registered or excluded or exempt from registration requirements. Registration as an investment advisor is not an endorsement of the firm by security regulators and does not mean the advisor has achieved a specific level of skill or ability. No legal or tax advice is provided. Always consult with a tax professional. Legal services are offered by Eidelman Law Firm. Tax services offered by Market Tax Services. Market Advisory Group does not provide legal or tax advice. Any comments regarding safe and secure investments and guaranteed income streams refer only to fixed insurance products. They do not in any way refer to investment advisory products. Rates and guarantees provided by insurance products and annuities are subject to the financial strength of the issuing insurance company, not guaranteed by any bank or the FDIC. The guest commentators featured in this show are not investment advisor representatives of foundations and do not provide advisory services. Market Advisory Group does have several investment advisor representatives that can provide such services. This is not endorsed or affiliated with any U.S. government agency, the Social Security Administration, or associated with any federal Medicare program. All rights reserved.